Hey guys, my name is Jason with s &J Forest Products. And on today's video, I'm gonna see how small of a log is practical to cut with a chainsaw mill. So here's our little cedar top I'm gonna to be working with. And you know, it's pretty much junk. It's got some knots in it and stuff. And the top here is about six inches and it's about eight feet long. And I'm, I'm left with a bunch of these things because uh, over here, you can see when I take out some cedar, I get 40 foot logs is usually what I like to get. And a lot of times the top of these logs isn't enough to get another length out of for the mill. And so I, I end up with a bunch of these little tiny tops like you see over here. And I'm wondering if it's, if it's even worth my while to screw around with these things or should I just, you know, sell them off as firewood. And so we're gonna take this today, gonna cut it into, I think the only thing I can get out of this log is a four by four. So we're just gonna slab four sides of it and I wanna see how long it takes me and if it's even worth screwing around with. All right guys, so we're at the small top here, the small end, and I've made these little steel jigs. So this is a four by four hole in the middle. And so I can just barely fit it, fit a four by four in here. So I'm gonna hold it on there and just mark across here. A Sharpie works better, but I got a pen today, so. There we go, there's our, there's our four by four. So now I'm gonna take my, uh, I got these little steel end pieces that I, um, I'm gonna screw on here and then I can run my steel tube rails down the top. So we'll get that set up and I'll show you how that works. All right guys, so this, this top is so small that I, that I don't have enough room here to bolt my plate onto because that line, the, the outside line is the one where I need to cut. So I'm gonna take my slab off the bottom each time and I'll roll the thing over and so I'll cut the bottom off and leave the top because I gotta I gotta have room to screw my plate into. So let me see if I can get this lined up here and screwed on. There we go. Get it on there kind of as square as we can. There we go. Now I'm gonna run tubes down. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other end. I'll run tubes down to guide my uh, chainsaw mill. My chainsaw mill is gonna slab off the bottom section each time. All right, now to make this first cut work, we got to make sure that we're level across the top and we're pretty darn close. So now that we're level, all I got to do is go make the 4x4 four four jig down the other side level. And then our first plane, our first cut is going to be square. And then we'll just go off that corner every time, off that flat side. Okay, we got our mill adjusted there. We got our rails on. And you can see how they sit down in the plates. And I'm going to cut right there along that line. And want to make sure that our rails are pretty level and straight. This one here looks like it's sagging. I'm going to turn that one over to find a better spot for it. But it really doesn't matter if they're in line this way. But you don't want to have any sags or dips in them this way. Because then your bar is going to dip along and follow the, the guide there. So um, I'll make sure they're nice and straight and level. And then we'll get the saw up there and... Take our first cut in this little top.
All right, guys, here's the end of our four by four. We got pretty much right on the money, a little strong there. And then right on the money there. So we got a pretty true four by four there. My problem with this one is it's got a big crack all the way through it. So that unfortunately is not a very good four by four, but technically there's no reason you can't make a four by four with a chainsaw mill. You just gotta get the right wood. All right, so we got our four by four there and it's a four by four by eight foot long. Um, it took me almost exactly 30 minutes to cut that, a little bit longer, uh, but I was screwing around with the camera and stuff, getting it filmed for you guys. So, um, and if you go to the big box stores, I mean, that thing's 40, $45. Um, so it just really depends on how much time you wanna spend on cutting four by fours. Um, but there's no technical reason why you can't do it. Uh, but you know, it's, it's kind of a lot of screwing around for one four by four. Um, but I've got another top. I'm going to, I'm going to get this one out of the way. I'll put another top up there and let's try, um, just slabbing it into boards and see how that goes. That'll go faster. I think because there won't be as much setup time. Okay. We're set up for our next little project here. This is another top. Uh, the small end is, is down on that end. It's probably about another six or seven inch top. Um, and I got it set up, so I'm going to take my first slab off the top, and then I'll adjust my mill down uh, to one inch, and then I'll just start slabbing down um, as we go and making uh, boards out of them, one inch thick boards. So we'll get this first one off, and then I'll adjust, and we'll start cutting boards. We took our first slab off of that top, and now I've got to adjust the mill down to one inch, and I won't make you guys watch it, but uh, it's really easy to do. There's two bolts here, or nuts, and two nuts here. You loosen those, and this thing has a gauge on it, both, both these uprights do, and so you slide it down, hit it at one inch, tighten them back down again, and you're ready to go.
here's our haul for the day. I've got the one four by that we made out of the first top. And then the second one I got four boards out of. They're almost 12 feet long. But if we figure that they're, you know, if you're going to go buy them in the store, you get 10 footers. They average about two by, or about one by six by 10. And uh, so I figure that's about 20 board feet. And at $5 a board foot, which is more or less the going rate right now, you're looking at a hundred bucks for the boards and about 45 or so for the four by. All right, so there you have it. We took our two tops and made some wood out of them. Um, I don't know if that's the most efficient use of your time and, and a mill. Uh, but if you're, if you're desperate or you need them or, you know, you've got a bunch of tops laying around, uh, might be worth your while to cut up some boards and, and make use out of them. Otherwise it's, you know, firewood and in your way. So, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.